Hey everyone, welcome Dean Kamen, welcome Zem Joaquin. Uh, we're gonna get right into it. Dean has a huge event happening in the San Francisco Bay Area. Dean, what's the event? And, and give us a, a little bit of like the history. How did it all start? The history is about 30 years ago, I started an organization called FIRST for inspiration and recognition of science and technology. The goal was to compete for the hearts and minds of kids, uh, not with a science fair, but compete really for the passion they have for sports and entertainment. That's why we called it first. Everybody wants to be first in sports. We said, we've got to make a sport where every kid can compete, but the only difference is our sport's going to be the only one where every kid that competes can turn pro. There are millions and millions of exciting careers that will be available to any kid that develops the skill sets to compete in our first competition. We started 30 years ago with about 25 companies adopting local schools where the tech companies supplied the mentors, the schools supplied the coaches, and we made it like every other sport, a short six or eight week season that doesn't end with quizzes and tests. It ends with double elimination tournament and a championship and the kids bring the mascots and the school band and the cheerleaders and we give them the trophies. Well, we went from 25 teams in year one to 50 to 100 to 200 and we've had 55% compound annual growth for 30 years. So last year we had more than 81,000 schools. We had regional events in 180 cities, about a dozen of them out there in California. The championship was about 50,000 people that showed up uh, in Houston at the championship. And only about five years ago, after we were about 25 years old, my board of directors finally said, why don't you do an annual gala fundraiser so you can get more support for this thing and make it more available to more kids around the country? And they said, Dean, if you're going to do fundraisers, you do them in New York, you do them in in San Francisco, you don't do them where you are. So we picked New York and four years we did. The first year we honored the mayor of New York, you know, uh, Mike Bloomberg, very philanthropic, technical guy, big supporter of FIRST over the years. He would always show up at the New York regionals. The next year we found a guy that was out of work, so he was available. His name was Barack Obama and he came and he spoke and he gave a fantastic talk. We honored him. The third year, uh, another guy that ran a company that's been super supportive of first over the years jeff bezos showed up and so those all happened in new york city we decided this year after two years of no galas because of covid we decided let's do one on the west coast let's do it in san francisco i have a secret weapon that's zem we asked zem to help us organize it and it turns out we're taking over the exploratorium so instead of putting everybody at big round tables to eat their rubber chicken dinner we can bring kids and parents and mentors and teachers and sponsors to have a great time at the Exploratorium, a very fitting place for STEM. Our honoree this year is Tim Cook, the CEO of Apple will be there and I'm sure he'll make some exciting remarks. We have some other special guests. We're counting on Zem to populate the place with all sorts of fun people. As you can imagine, Silicon Valley is pretty rich, rich with interesting people. So it's going to be a great event. It's uh, Tuesday, the 15th of November at the Exploratorium. Zem, yeah, why? and just to be clear. Oh, Zem, yeah, Zem, why just, are you involved? Say, why are you involved? <laughs> well, first of all, to know Dean is to work for Dean. You cannot meet Dean Kamen and not immediately go to work for him. So I met him 20 years ago, and that's how long I've been involved with FIRST. And it's an honor. James and I are both, um, we've been mentors. He's sponsored teams. It's something that we're super passionate about. I think STEM education is absolutely necessary for us to compete on a global scale. And I've never seen anything that does it more effectively. I love the cooperation piece. I love the fact that the kids get awards, not in that way of like, everyone gets an award, but you get an award for being the most helpful. You get awards for being the safest. You get awards for things that actually really matter. And I've seen the transformation for kids who compete and who participate that most kids end up going to college. It puts them on a totally different trajectory. It's it is absolutely inspirational. That's why it's called First Inspires. And this is not a gala. I hate that term because it is truly an opportunity to mingle and talk and play and experiment with some of the smartest people in the world, including Dean, who is the most modest person I know. He is the greatest living inventor of our time. And so 
to be able to spend time with him and all these other people as well. Um, I think that's really exciting. But I also think like just you're going to hear from some of the kids and what they're doing and how it's changed their lives. That's what's really exciting. Also, the food's going to be really good. Okay. Thank you, Zim. Right. Yeah, right. Thank God. That is your secret weapon. Um, <laughs> so that night, uh, you you buy a ticket. You get to go to the Exploratorium. It's not a gala, but it's a, a fun event. Um, what else can we expect to happen? Exactly. Yeah. What else can we expect that night? Uh, I think Dean said something about maybe some fireside chats. Yeah, I mean, there are going to be exciting conversations. Dean's going to be interviewing and ha he's going to be with Tim Cook, but also some other luminaries that we have yet to surprise you with. Um, and, you know, everybody who's involved is, is really incredibly passionate people like Martine Rothblatt, just some of the coolest, smartest people on this planet. Um, and so you'll see, you know, they'll be hanging out, but there'll be all the fun things that you can do at the Exploratorium and there'll be stations and there'll be um, ways to, to kind of connect and interact and also do hands-on activities. So that's what we're really excited about. So there'll how... There'll be music. Oh, there will be music. Yeah, surprise oh. guests. Okay, great. So how can somebody get a ticket for this? What's the website? So the, the First, website is... is, is, is firstinspires.org. And while I, I'm totally sympathetic to what Zem just told you, at least on their website, they call it slash gala. But I agree, this is not a rubber chicken dinner, typical gala. It's just not. We're taking over the Exploratorium. We're filling it with interesting people. We are inviting kids from all the fantastic teams that are part of FIRST. And if you want to get there and if you want to bring a bunch of kids, I'm sure we'll make special arrangements to make sure that kids get in. Uh, and, and it's all about kids. It's all about the future of this country, about technology and, uh, and about the world. And it all starts with giving kids the right tool sets and the right direction and connecting them to the right mentors uh, so that this world will head in the right direction and get there quickly. Thank yeah. you, Dean. Thank you, Zim. We wish you nothing but the best. Give us the website one more time. Firstinspires.org for this slash gala. Perfect. Wait, one, right. one more oh, note. Yeah. One more note. It is also your birthday on November 15th. So we will be celebrating the great, the wonderful human Khalili at wow. that event as well. Thank so. you. <laughs> I was going to attend your event and I was like, are the, is, should I say it's my birthday? So I'm on. Oh, it's your. You, uh, oh, I I've never missed your birthday in 20 years. Who? So <laughs> I know. You're we'll the be greatest. celebrating. You're the okay. All right, All right, you guys. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get the word out on this. Thank you guys so much for your time, Dean Zem. I'll see you on the 15th. Thank you. Thank yeah. you.